Hello students, today we are going to see about 8-bit addition program in 8051 and the same we are going to run by using the 8051 microcontroller kit. So 8-bit addition in the sense we have two datas, 8-bit datas we are going to add. So here we are considering the first data as 43, second data as 21 and our first instruction is move a comma hash 43. So what is the meaning? Here this is immediate addressing mode. So the data 43 is moved to a register that is accumulator and again so first data is moved to accumulator. Now we have to add the first data with the second data. So we are going to use the instruction add. So addition operation. So again this is also the immediate addressing mode. So 21 is added with the data available in the A register and again the result will be stored in the A register. So for example, we have already A value as 43 and now the another data is 21. So both will be added. So what is the value? It is 64. So now this result it will be stored in the A register. So addition operation it will add both the datas and again the result will be stored in the A register. Next again here since we are going to execute the program in the kit we need to see the output in the memory location. So in order to point out the memory location we require DPTR that is the data pointer. So data pointer will be pointing out the data memory. So the memory location address is 4200. So in order to use that address first of all we need to load that address value as immediate data in the DPTR. Only then the DPTR can point out to that address. So for example if this is the memory address 4200. First we need to load this 4200 in DPTR. So that instruction is nothing but here it is given. So move dptr comma hash 4200 and then now whatever the value available in the accumulator that data we are going to move to this address location. So whenever it is address indirectly we are addressing then we have to use at and so far we have used move but here it is external memory. So we are going to use move x command since it is external memory. So the value A is loaded into the external memory which is pointed out by DPTR. So where is DPTR is point, pointing out? DPTR is pointing out to this location that is 4200. So whatever the value added value it will be loaded into the data memory that is 4200. And finally we have S jump halt. So here there is no instruction like HLT as that of your 8086. So we are going to use the loop S yes, jump. So it will be available here itself. Again and again it will be there in this instruction itself. It will not further proceed. Okay. So S yes, jump halt means again and again this instruction will be executed. So further the controller will not execute the other instruction. Okay. So let us see about the execution of this program now. So here the power card is connected in the 8051 microcontroller and we are giving the supply and this is the 8051 microcontroller kit and we have connected the keyboard interface also with the kit. So press reset first. So we will be getting this condition first. So first in order to program we need to give A, A means assemble. So the starting address here for 8051 controller is 4100. So in 4100 only we are going to give the instruction by using the keyboard. So give move A comma hash symbol. So our first value is 43. So you can either give 43 as it is or you can use H also. It is your wish. And then 
it will automatically point out to the next location so the next location we have to give the next instruction so add a comma hash 21 h moving to the next instruction move dptr comma hash so give the value 4200 so next move x at of dptr dptr comma a then finally yes jump so yes jump we have to give the same location address so 410h so with this your program is over so now you have to press reset in the kit so press reset now we have to execute the program why because already the data is given so go what is the starting address 4100 so use 4100 so it will be giving us executing so now again press reset now we have to see the output at which location we have to see it is 4200 so we need to give sd sd is substitute data so using that we can see the output so 4200 so using sd we can either give the input also or we can see the output also so 43 plus 21 we should get 64 at location 4200 yes so we are getting the added value thank you thanks for watching